which is gonna see for the second meeting because it might take approximately between fifteen ten to fifteen if last twenty minutes it will be until the end of the day. Today it is it will be a, a last night for them to get together on meeting. What they'll do to keep on moving from here, start to call for the relocation for the other males or other females and they join in. And then they might start to hunt because there's two lions there lying down. They can see they're a lot more thin. They haven't eaten nothing for at least two to three days. So it will be highly demand for them to join to the pride and start to hunt. You know, Kuhuma pride that dealing with the buffalo. All the time they stay behind the buffalo. Especially when it comes to Daga boys or bachelor head. They really likes to hunt them because there's no if two or three of them they get you two, three buffalo or three of them it will be a lot more easy for the whole pride to hunt them. Yawning, remember, it's one of the sun. And everyone might get up and move. This time it looks like Mel is more interested. You're gonna start the business. Our body language, you see, the Mel is moving at the back a little bit. It might be. A body language communication here, telling the female get up is the time. Beautiful cat. Here's the business. Finish as females running on the back. I mean, hit most of the time is bad lots of energy from lions. They tend to lie down most of the time. But it looks like the male is going to take the right direction. He is going to go. He'll keep moving towards the road there. You find that that is a side marking. sniffing on the ground, he's trying to squeeze the urine. It's difficult for mating. Since the I mean it look it doesn't have much water on the body. Most of the time when lion get to the tree doing that, at the same time it's going to urate. It's gonna jet the urine into the bushes there. And that is one of the perfume that they left behind for the other males when they enter into area, they know that it's a male that is operating which is doing that. You see that spraying urine inside the bush. You jet the urine, which is the way it jets into bush, it leaves a lot of uh, a communication sign for other males when they enter into area. Knows that is a dominant male living in the area. To be a lion is not that much easy. Survival of the fittest, if you're not fit, you're gonna also get killed. It's amazing in nature. And also from the scent mark that they put around in the area, it have this information. If males is not in pretty healthy, it's gonna indicate from also the scent. 
so it's a lot more easy for the other males when they enter into air I know that the status of the male is not in a very good condition it will be our chance <coughs> to enter in and also if this male get the females are gonna also allow that on the urine that they don't have males and that on the peak you find that lots of males that might be enter into area trying to come for an interview or what could be testing each other if it's a two nomadic pride can enter to the area they're gonna wrestle push each other whoever wins from fighting as a dominant male is gonna take over from the female I've seen that in in 2005, we were having a male called Manyene Timel. He was more into Galago side, in, I mean, in the northern side of our property. He was a mafia. The male used to fight with two males easy, and he was a big male. He got to killed. He killed by two males that enter into area. One of it, he was coming from Kruger. One young male and old male, the badly injured him, and left him somewhere very close to the water hole. And the group of buffalo come and finish the male, kill the male. So and the female also by that time, Sandy Punch was operating in the area. And because the female they were not having a male, so wherever the scent mark in the area, also from the vocalization that they do. There were few males that enter into area for the few males. We have seen three plus one, it was a pride with two, three males and one females that enter into area. And they settle here in the area and they get challenge. We have seen Mapoho come into area. We have seen these two males come into area. Suddenly these two males, they take control of the whole area. They push three plus one out of the area and the settling and the come of nine female which is a big pride so for the males here that are in Kuhuma pride which are in here if they're all in total the 11 sometimes if lions challenge them or in 11s doesn't matter which pride they come in if they get together all 11 lions is a big pride they can simple push any pride that want to be in the area because the females are going to assist because of the youngster. If the female they don't assist, it means the youngster is going to kill. They're going to be killed. So they're becoming part of the fight. They're really going to push each and every male out of the area, assisting by the females. Kuhuma pride. I remember explaining one day what Kuhuma pride means. I was going to say it today. Kuhuma pride, it means come out. The first time when we saw this pride coming from north, they were all, as I said, nine female plus two males and a sub adult young male, which we haven't get to see it since from then. They were coming out from Manuniti. And one of the guide picked them, said this pride are coming out from north. So what I mean, to come out is means Kuhuma. We name them Kuhuma because they're just coming out from somewhere. It's a cuckoo. Um, it's one of the rain bed. It's an indication of the rain. The room. The room. It's not far from here. It's a sort of a black sort of a cuckoo, Jacobin cuckoo. And they're checking around here. There's quite a lot of birds that come out these days. I've seen it uh, on flight today, but it was very difficult also to see. Jacobin cuckoos, two of them fly across the road. 